Next, we're going to do some strength and balance exercises. Before we begin, let's take a look on how hormonal changes affect your bone health. With all we have going on in perimenopause, maintaining good bone health may not seem like a priority, but how we take care of our bones now has a big impact on our physical function and confidence later on. In menopause, our bones begin losing the protective effects of estrogen. We start to lose bone faster than we can replace it. Women can lose up to 20% of their bone mass in the five to seven years following menopause. One in four women experience enough bone loss to end up with osteoporosis, a condition that leaves our bones porous, brittle, and fragile. If we don't take measures to offset this loss, we risk joining the 40% of U.S. women over 50 who suffer an osteoporosis-related fracture. Poor balance can play a big role in this risk. At the same time bone loss accelerates, we're also losing muscle mass, which causes our metabolism to slow down and our body composition to shift. We're losing muscle and gaining fat. This can mean unwanted pounds in all the wrong places, and cutting calories alone is not going to be enough to deal with the problem. The combination of extra belly weight and weakened abdominal and back muscles affects our posture. Shoulders hunch, belly and hips tilt forward, and our upper back rounds. Needless to say, it's difficult to feel good about yourself when you're walking around all slumped over like this. You're more likely to feel irritable, depressed, and tired. Your best defense against this downward spiral is to stop it at its source. This means building muscle mass to protect bone density and to boost metabolism. It means strengthening the abdominals and the back muscles so you can walk tall and proud. I've designed a strength training program to help you do exactly that. By following my simple routine two to three times a week, you'll increase metabolism, improve posture, and give your bones the protection they deserve. The routine helps target hips, wrist, and spine, which are especially vulnerable to fractures later on. I've also included balance exercises which provide additional protection against falls. Increased metabolism puts the brakes on out of control weight gain. Remember, some weight gain is okay as we age, but don't pressure yourself to maintain the body you had in your 20s and 30s. That extra stress is not worth the energy that it robs us of. Find a weight that you can live with and then start to enjoy the good health your efforts bring. The best thing you can do for your muscles and your bones is combine strength training with a good supply of calcium. Perimenopausal women need 1,000 milligrams of calcium a day and 1,200 once they've reached menopause. Take this in divided doses throughout the day. To ensure best absorption, include 400 IUs of vitamin D, 500 milligrams of magnesium, and 3 milligrams of boron. You also want to limit the things that rob your body of calcium, including excessive protein, sugar, salt, coffee, alcohol, and cigarettes. Two to three cups of coffee a day, and you may be literally peeing your bones out. So let's start protecting those bones. Make sure you have enough space to work, weights, a top.